I think that that's gonna have to be a good start. I'm gonna have to remember to play this song every time the thing plays and hope to God that Skunkape does not decide they want to just stop me entirely from streaming because of just this one thing. So, for those that are here, hi, and thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to now play a game that is near and dear to my heart. Um, if she's around, uh, Tacos are here. I have to thank her heavily for suggesting, requesting, and almost basically demanding I play this game. Because, uh, yes, and this is a great game. Also, hi, Candy. I see you there. So, let's do... Let me check something just really quickly. Light box, chat box. Okay. Should have everything I need, so. Yep. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Yep, that sounds about right to me, too. Thank you, game, for being your rape. Gonna adjust that just really quickly, one second. This game likes to not agree with any settings that you would ever set for a computer. I'll put this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over here. Now turn that down. Way down. That's a good spot. This is still going to be really loud, so I'm going to just... You crack me up, little buddy. You crack me up. So just like the last time in Max game, this one is, in fact, fully voice acted. Let's see if I can adjust it. Oh. Shh. Uh. I gotta adjust this. Come on. No, no, it's just too big. You've never seen this game before? You're in for a treat. Or a very, very sad time. Whichever one sounds better. Um, if you've genuinely never seen this game before, please stick around. You're gonna be, you're gonna, um, you're gonna experience something. And of course, for those who do know that, uh, about the, about the version of this game that came out actually either at the top of this year or at the end of the last year I'm not playing that version that version is the entirety of uh, Save the World it comes out with all six of the episodes but they did so many changes to the game that I don't really like it as much like there's like a lot of fun commentary that's in this version and there's a lot of um, character showing and character develop why does that look so weird that doesn't look that way on OBS Oh, never mind. I know why. Okay. Gotta do just two quick things here. Again, thank Tacos for telling me how to do these things. So I have to quickly apply. Let's see. This. Uh huh. And one more. That. Did they apply? They applied. Okay. 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 So that should definitely help with audio. And let's hope it stays in frame like it should. Don't start flipping out on me again. All right. Okay. So I do. I still have my old save files. I sure do. I'm not starting with those. We're gonna do this from the top. Yes. New game. I want this to be experienced forever. <sighs>
know so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. Ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little burp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. All right. So, welcome to Sam and Max. For anyone who hasn't seen this before, it's a point and click adventure game. Um, I'm going to try to show off as much as I can remember about this game, and as much as I've learned about this game since the last time I played this. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, just gotta start off with this. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Not that. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. So if I'm right, I can. Oh, that's not in this game yet. Okay, Let's do this thing. Stop talking to him. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Max, come here. Max, come here. You know what I want to do. Max, stop. I'm walking around the desk. I have to do this. Max, for the audience, it's okay. All right, cool. Everything's solved. All right. So, yeah, like any other point-click adventure game, you kind of just look around. You just kind of click on things and hope for the best, mostly. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. One of these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. If you don't want to remember, if anyone did see the other game, the first one, um, the other darts consisted of knives... Um, and axes. No dice. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. That is a reference to um, the cartoon. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. No comment. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? The human enigma. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces? I didn't do it again. So the human enigma, the person that's just a, a faucet, is also a reference to the last game. The little Max cutout is a, um, a reference to the show where Max basically taught, well, the viewers of the show how to make a Max puppet to put into your lunchbox. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Hey, thank you for the follow, bird. Oh yeah, this is important. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. It's also from the last game. And closet door, of course. Aha. Oh, there it is. 
though. Get some cheese, of course. This oh. is not Swiss cheese. So what? So the rap was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Oh, we don't have rat cheese. No, Swiss cheese. Tiny hoodlums. So what can we do? So, if you don't have Swiss cheese, how do you get cheese? Or how do you, you know, get Swiss cheese? Of course, you just pull out your gun and you shoot it, of course. Let's see. That a couple times. Thank you, law breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. And there we go. Now Swiss. Voila. Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Voila. of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform Sally you gang, what? No, stop it, Choke. I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. So sometimes you can talk from either person's perspective. So I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Yes, All Chuck. I called you Chuck. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Ah, uh, that one. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. All right. Now, actual reasonable conversation. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Hmm. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right. Have mercy. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up. Take your phone and let me go. Ah, <coughs> oh, for the love of. I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Um, yeah, actually. Whee! Yeah, there, there shouldn't be anything else here we need. Whee! 
Anyway, corner store. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, That's debatable. Really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt. Make it out to Squinky. Mm -hmm. I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, but you just did. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. No, thank you. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco. You should get it. Okay. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Yes, you can. Well, that's nice. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? We'll be back to talk to him later. TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Expose Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Something to remember, newspaper. Every time. Every time. Let's get cracking. Yeah! It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. And the gumball machine. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. All right. Hi, right, ducks. Welcome. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently impossible. You call them. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the NASA? Oh, thank you, Hick, for the follow. Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard. He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. 
No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. So that's the fun of Bosco. He's your conspiracy. Um, aliens are coming to take over everything. Crazy person. Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? He's in the bathroom. I, think I know. So we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. Mm -hmm. I think we got it. Okay. Anything else? Sure. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? Hmm. Okay, so that did pop up. Let me see if I can fix that. Oh, actually, I probably cannot fix that. I actually have to set myself offline on Steam. Hold on. Give me a second. Everything's going to go a little dark. How do I do that, though? Okay, there we go. That should fix it. I am Alpin. Thank you. Oh, God. Come on. And there. All right. Nothing messed up that time. Good. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. So if I do this again, he just starts over. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Yes, that's a consistent thing. What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Yes. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Alright. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Uh, nice name. Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. Or a nicer fighter. How do you get out of that cage anyway? That's for me to know and you never to find out. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have. You'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually, but then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. 
Literally starting off the last game, the first thing that you do when you get into this area is you go, oh, hey, look, Bosco's is being robbed. And then there's just a teenager that laughs at you and you go, oh, huh, hmm. Let's show him why he should be afraid. That teenager is no longer with us. What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pine-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Okay. Oh, and there he goes. And there he is. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary Max is... Exercise. Max is something. About it? See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start off as movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Okay. So let's start with. Let's start with this. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Oh, okay. I actually remember what needs to be done here. But we're not going to do that. There he is. Okay. So I'm going to grab this. It is on special. And we are running dangerously low. We sure are. We sure. Oh, that's right. I give it. Organ trader, self-loading weekly. Oh, let me see that. What do we have here? Organ trader, self-loading weekly. Oh, let me see that. Okay. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. But what if I want to, Chuck? Can you really stop me? Sludgies. With 100% all natural I have access sludge. to the internet. This week's you can't stop me. Wheatgrass and meatloaf. Ugh. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. <laughs> Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Now you can Nachos. do what you want to with salads. Mine, Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Caution, landmines. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. Did not know he's going to read that. I can believe it. I don't want to know where they are. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! I'll pass. Mm. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Hey Max, go back to the bathroom. Oh, fun. Thank you. Oh wait, I keep forgetting to actually talk to Wizard, don't I? Why does Bosco look like he has cancer? Uh, there's a reason. There's actually a reason for that. <laughs> but we don't find out until, like, season two? Hmm. I think, yeah, it's season two. No, wait, it's not season two. No, we find out in this season, actually, towards the end. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies, and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. 
Actually, let me take that back. Um, we find out why in season two. Yes, yes, we find out why in season two. Yeah. It's an interesting reason, actually. The most bizarre thing in the world. Let, let's, let's just say Bosco's really, really special. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. I already did. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Okay. Who's Brady Culture? Who exactly is this? Yes, Brady this is a Telltale Culture game. Supposed to be. And what kind of steroids? Before Telltale went under. Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. So, yes, yes, this is a Telltale's game before they went under. Before they did, um, Walking Dead. Um, season one and two are good, but season three is when they decided to end everything with Sam and Max. But before they did, they made just a huge decision before it came out. And that huge decision made Sam and Max Season 3 probably one of the best video games to exist. No, that's not just in my opinion. That's a fact. No one can correct me on that. If you try to correct me, you're wrong. Yes, Chuck, I can feel you over there trying to say that I'm wrong. You're wrong. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. And just for no, between season one and two and then getting into three, uh, the game ramps up significantly. Well, that's nice. What is? Um, <laughs> no. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Come on, sing the soda popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. Are you sure you won't sing the soda popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Okay, well, never mind. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write to Max. Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. I can believe that. Oh, that's well, nice. That's nice. What is? Nothing. Goodbye. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one. Thanks. Also, I have to say, with beyond the shadow of a doubt, I think that my least favorite part about this game is the soda Let's poppers. Just return the cheese to its table. Okay. Max, calm the hell down. All right, later. Yes, most things in this game you can probably shoot. Unless they're a person. If you want to just shoot a random object, sure. You just kind of whip it out and do this. 
But if you try to shoot a person, unless otherwise specified. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. They'll either run away really fast or they'll you'll just basically say, nah, I probably shouldn't do that. Ah, the car. I'll get to that momentarily. Oh yeah, liver and onions live at the Bigelaw Ice Rink and meat packing facility. This doesn't really get helped in this game. Look, Max, liver and onions are in town. I know, I can't wait. I love when they throw expired meat products at the crowd. Also, um, in the last game, the entire, or when you first started off the game, everything took place here at the one way and then went right to, to the corner store. And then that was kind of it. It never did move left. So this, Sybils. Uh, let's see, she's done piercings, tattoos, and is currently doing psychotherapy. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose, ah, memories. All right. Hey, Sybil, we have words for you. Course. From a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Me? Right. You're, um... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Oh. Are you sure you're Civil? Are you sure your name is Civil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. That's me. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. So, let's see. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Because, anyway. Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. Um. Let's go from top down. Feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes too. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. Hmm. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. What is Ibo? What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. How about if I don't? Who's Brady Culture? Who's this lady culture person? Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all! It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore! <laughs> so disillusioned. Be disillusioned. Enough said. Enough said. Um. Yeah, no, let's do some more psychoanalysis. On my mind. Tell me what's bothering you! So, this. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal, but you might want to try Brady Culture's Ibo video. It's very soothing compared to regular television. Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, it is! It is! Okay. 
Let's do another second analysis then. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what hallucinations. I think I'm hallucinating because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How odd! Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's Ivo video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. I'm beginning to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Well, you have to go with what works. Well, I'll see you later. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. Oh, you can just stay there. I'm gonna just, uh... Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've gotta sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're free. Hi, Caden. Welcome. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! Um... Please, my pal. But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? <laughs> psychotherapist handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? Debatable. What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites. And what about Mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Hypnotized? How can you tell? How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional. Boss life. baby humans? Can we what? Borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Uh. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. So what can we do? Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Okay. Um... How about if I just punch him? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Okay. So, Peepers always has his eye on you. That is the running joke with Peepers. And his catchphrase, I can see you, is not the best thing. Whee! So, we need to do... So we need to knock out all three of them. So let's start with the... Let's start with the one in the office, actually. Where are we going, Sam? We're going to give a ticket to a rich criminal. What does it even mean with Sam and Max having boss baby By humans? Way, Sam, I'm not sure if I this, yes, I've seen Max boss baby. But I don't remember most of the movie. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. This is done just by clicking left and right, right? Yeah. Oh, that's what you meant. Hello. Yes. We're freelance police. And you why? Ergo, yes. The shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? That's not gonna be the weirdest thing you see, don't worry. According to our homemade radar gun, you were just exceeding the speed of light. That's not physically possible. 
Oh, would you like me to demonstrate what's physically possible? Well, considering you didn't actually commit the crime we're accusing you of, I suppose we'll just let you off of the warning this time. Yes, there is actually a way to do this. I know. What's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates. Yeah, all three of them just have heads like that. It's supposed to be because they're, uh... They have dwarfism, that's the word I'm looking for. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Um, broken taillight. Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? Just about. What, are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Okay. My attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting. Thank you for Thanks, a big bag sir. of money. All right, that's enough. Oh, horn. Just because it's fun. All right. Now we got enough money to pay Bosco, so we can. So let's go ahead and start with that. Hey. Yeah, it's just me. Hey, uh, I got money. Your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No, you did now. Ow. The ten thousand just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. So we're going to do this in the order that the game wants to do it. We now have the tear... The tear gas gun, basically. The onion shooter. Why? Because we need to make someone that consistently stares at people stop staring at people. How do we do that? How do we do that? Answer, we whip out a gun and shoot him in the face. Boop. Oh, Sybil. Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! No! But it will make you cry. <laughs> Perfect. No! 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 Now, take a little nap. Hey, Sam, allow me. Okay. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, still not quite right. <laughs> uh. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Do it. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Mm. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What if I don't want to, though? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's 
not Sybil, it's Peepers! Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. There's a big space in that. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Sounds kinky. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. That's Aww. fine. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nah, you're Nothing okay. Nothing a simple exorcism can't fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> and there it goes. Well, that was fun. Sybil, it was nice meeting you. We'll never see you again, ever. I'm going to shut this door since you're now out of the closet. And all right. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. <laughs> She's hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chuck. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Oh, wait. I remember what I need. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, the diner, Stinkies. That's a very important place later. Hello. Hi. Borrowing this cheese. cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. So, because his um thing works automatically. No, I don't punch my salad. Time out for number one. All right, goodbye. Whee! So this is his crate that he takes out to bring in more videos. Man. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? And. Number one. And I got this. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Better, better. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... I mean, we could. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Oh, coal tar. Nice. I'd love to buy that. Mm. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. What's going on? Where? Where's the bathroom? Over there. He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's a 227 something. Spex would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no. I've got to take some time out for number one. But the bathroom is the other direction. Oh. There is something I'm missing. There's one more thing I need.
Hey, Spex. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do. I just have to paint. Sounds like a painful experience. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? Pardon me, I'm gonna sit down. No, it just came to me oh, this morning. There we go. This morning. And there we go. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No. Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that. But it's fun. Mm. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to... Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Ah, oh. uh, there's one more thing I need. I think it's like way over here on the side somewhere. Like down here, maybe. Yeah, I saw it. Right there. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Just because he can. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. So because he's so hung up on his graffiti. Let's give him something else to work on. This could use a little improvement. There we go. Hey, 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 hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've got to fix it, Brain Freeze! Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. That man should have a inverted skull. <laughs> now this is quality television. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> Rue is tasty. admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so before we actually leave from up here, videotape, VHS. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That is close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look. Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. So, that's what we have to do. So let's do uh, uh, Alright, we're good. Let's go ahead and go take care of Brady Culture. Oh, wait, rather. Let's talk to Specs first, and then hopefully get over there. Hey, Spec. Take control of your mind. 
Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no. And he's gone. That way. Quick, follow that soda popper. But this is A-OK, -okay, because this is kind of what we want anyway. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away. Does it look irritating? I swear to you it is. Look, it's like fighting Chuck and Smash. It's a minefield. Why did it stop? God, did I click out of the game again? There we go. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We do. We never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? Not exactly. You'll figure it out. It's fine. Ooh. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? I don't remember that being there last time I played this. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. For so? You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. <laughs> okay, so... This one's very locked. Locked. The power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Yeah. Monkey. Return to monkey. monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. So we can't get in unless we are diagnosed. I think someone was sitting here. And leaking. Oh, there's only one thing we can do. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the Back office. Back to the office. Because we don't have to, we don't have the ability to diagnose ourselves, but we well, if only we had a psychotherapist we can go talk to about this. Hey Chuck, we're gonna talk to your wife for a little more. For a little more. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Hey, I know. I could psychoanalyze you. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. So, what's your free association? What's free association like? 
It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Tempting sometimes, but I've become fond of the little guy. Whoa, don't shoot! Violent reaction, violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm, violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. I want to punch Max. Max, get over here. It feels strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Comb. Is it comb? Or calm? Comb. Okay. Let's see. More violent reactions. I don't think white's your color, little buddy. Don't even try it. I have the strangest urge to paint something. Maybe it means you're autistic. <laughs> Leave the diagnoses to the professional, if you don't mind. Okay, dazzle us with your exhaustive training, oh re-educated one. Well, I suppose it could be a sign of postmodern autism. Well, <laughs> this has been illuminating. Of course. Yes. Your reactions indicate that you're a generally violent person. I'm disturbed to hear that. Me too. I've always thought of you as a specifically violent person. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? No. Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's try some more. That will tell. Remember, ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Cow make me want to sit. Do you think this would work better if I lie down? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Trigger word apparently inducing sleepiness. How about this word? Drill. Can I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Ouch. Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of euphoric dyspepsia. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Gun. Shoot. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent react. You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction. Well, this has been illuminating. You're illuminating. Yes. Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to hairstyling. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. All right, let's try ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. All right, show me. Hmm. The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one, what do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Mm -hmm. I don't 
remember what all three of them were. Let's see. It was. It was hair and Mary Gwen. Oh, God. Oh. I'm sleeping. It was something about hair, something about marrying one of one's own mother, and there was one other thing. What was the first thing? I don't remember. An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. Mmm, these tell me that you're kind of hung up on cars, though not quite to the point of obsession. Oh, Thanks, Doc. Yeah, Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with money. Ah, uh, that's right. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take okay. a look at this and tell me what you see. Okay. Let's see. Obsession with money. So let's go with pennies. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mind. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Yes, one. An SUV crashing I into think. an opulent mansion. And this? And let's see here. Moth eaten wallet. My Uncle Louie's moth eaten wallet. Now this one, what do you see? Your stock exchange. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Debit card. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm, well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with That's money. a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. No, it's not. Nice. When they commit you? Sure, no. buddy. Mm. Okay. Dream analysis. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yowch. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. I don't want to. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. So let's start. I think it's only four options here, so. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's got to be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful. Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup. I went through three weeks of labor for you. Wow, it is your mother. I was right, as I usually am. In the closet. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Lottery tickets? I don't remember. A whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. Don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls. And by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. If not for the fact you gotta spend all your fucking money elsewhere. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are Yes, pests. there are the subtle tracks going up the wall in the room. Tell me, what was in the hole? A hot dog. It was a hot weenie of indeterminate maturity. A weenie in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism there. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. I 
I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? A wedding cake. It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Wait a second. Wedding cake, your mother... You subconsciously want to marry your own mother! Well, this is a blow. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. Oh, it I is. better mark this on your chart. Do it. Mark it. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can Which I try very legal. jumping vehicular homicide? No. So there's three things that Max will never let Sam do. It is drive, um, answer the phone, and what's the other one? No, actually, I think those are the only two things. Hey, Sybil. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. I'm just curious. Is it hard to become a psychotherapist? Oh, yes. It takes weeks. For some people, it's harder not to become one. Bless your overgrown cassava melon, Max. Oh, okay. Oh, Talk okay. at Thank you, you later, Doc. Interesting choice of words. Oh, Fox. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. All right. Let's go see if we can have a little chat with Brady Culture. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? <laughs> plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor down on his Hi, actor welcome. mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Oops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become video delivery man. 
Yeah, that's my favorite superhero. Right next to uh, right next to Pepsi Man. What? What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! What? What are you doing? I don't know. I. You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Ah! So I can't really do much. Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. Oh, don't even try it! There we go. I love that part. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. All right, so let's go about this step by step. And the light switch. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. Who what? Uh, no! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. This fun fact, that was like, I think, the hardest one for me at some point. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Oh, we should open up the door first. That way, the, that way he knows where to go. I will be number one in the rating. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. Honestly, we're about 80% done. Maybe 90 done. 90% no, done. The cheese must stand alone. No! And another one bites the cheese. Jesse James' hand is up there having a great time. It's just a dream, Sam. Nothing. Perfect. Weird. Let's go ahead and turn this TV off, too. It's Brady Culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> Slightly better. Fish is outside. Is that Bosco. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Strange. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> That was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. And I'll do some fun Please working. Fun Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail. Not really. It's just dealer. I Ooh, remember just most of it, so I know how to get through it faster. So that way we're not just sitting for eight hours trying to get through even half of this. Because it's not eight hours worth of work, as opposed to like maybe two. Hey, uh, get I shot. Be you didn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. Good flip again. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm right back where I started. Sure, buddy. Okay, hold on. I'll think. 
I remember how to figure this out. Um, Brady Culture has a nice... wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No. No! This is mine now. Oh yes, that's much better reception. I wouldn't want to turn break. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam! I've got an itch! I can't scratch! Why am I lugging around a coat? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. No. Are you trying to go? Yeah, I took the wrong thing. I took the wrong thing. Calm down. That doesn't even work in a dr What is this doing here? Whoa! Hm. Yeah. yeah, okay, well, let me okay. click Hold the thing. So, instead, we're going to have to find some way to get either Brady to move over or for me to grab my little buddy on the way down. Let's start with the smoke. You want to name every single one of your children after me? No, I don't. Enigmatic. Queer. Odd. Interesting. Adjectives after adjectives. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. I want to. There was something else I could do in here. I don't remember what it was. Dance, puppet, dance. Did I shoot my buddy? I don't want to pop him. Oh, wow. that's helpful. Not even in a dream. Hey, you want this? Do you really think that? No, not really. Just curious. Brady stole <laughs> Just let. Just one more little thing to do. Hmm. Don't worry, Max. We'll get you down. I eventually. love my hair, and you do too. No, I hate your hair, actually. Welcome to I will have legions of sick breakfast cereals named after me. Brady stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just it is a very big fever dream. Or a small fever dream, whichever way you want to think about it. So. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Okay, hold on. Mm. I need to lure stupid to the left. That's always the easy part. Throw it at him. Why am I lugging around a coat hang? Please, Sam, put it back on the team. No. That doesn't even work in a. No, it's helpful. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. I am Brady Culture, and you are not. Get used to it. Okay, I don't want to be Brady Culture. I'm clever. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha. Gotcha. Yay! And... <laughs> Quick touchdown. I don't think Max... No. Wait, actually what? I don't think Max would like me sticking his head there. Oh. Hey, hold oh, this. Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! Oh my. Put up a hairball, please. Or not, never mind. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. And defeated. Wake up. Oh, oh. Uh. oh no. 
He's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay. But what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute eomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Well, what do we do at a time like this? Let's see. Can you help me? I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. A hypnosis blocker? I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something. Wait. Hmm. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture? Ivo man, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my free little pal. All right, bye, Bosco. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. I don't remember what he asked me to do. Therefore, I don't care. You okay? Yep. I don't suppose you have a hypnosis blocker. I thought about. I've got to find something. Thanks, Bosco. Do me. I don't remember if I just go straight back or if I actually have to find something. I think I just go straight back. It depends on whether or not the DeSoto's here. But if not, we need a pasta trainer. I'm gonna ask Sybil. Just to make sure. She is literally the smartest person in this room. Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac the Brady Culture's got two it. Two weeks ago. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? Two three weeks ago. I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. You being my the exact same person. background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Yeah, and you're gonna have a long list of other fields. Yeah, man. Let's get your toot a little faster, buddy. No, we'll get there when we get there. That's fine. Yeah, no, I played the game two, three weeks ago. Uh, I know the VOD is still on the channel. And I know the VOD has also been put on YouTube. Hey, Bosco. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it, a death threat? Even better. It's instructions. No, not in this. I can't. Bosco Tech Innovation. Mm, let's see a calendar for that. Yeah, yeah, I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Okay, let's go get a coat hanger. Uh, yeah, no. Like, I can't sprint in the early versions of this game. So, like, holding shift 
holding control, holding alt, holding right click while, while clicking. No, you can't do that. Not until season three. No, I don't have the coat hanger. I was in the dream, remember? Now I have the coat hanger, though. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. Blip, blip, blip. No, this will be fast. Because if I'm right, we do this and then we go have another fun chat with Brady Culture. With Crady Bulcher. Hey, Alaska! Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco Tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old Moolah gauge is running on empty. I take it. Just stop that Brady coach. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Of course. Do I have it? I do. Okay. Later. Alright, time to give Miss Culture what's uh, one floor. Two floor, red floor, blue floor. I hope that everyone's having a good night. I'm a good day. Back. Whichever side of the world you're on. Whatever star you decide that you want to look on, in upon and go, hey, you know that place that, 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 that place looks pretty okay. Put on. I'll put it on inside Brady Culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashions in this neighborhood. Okay. Uh, I'll put it on fashions in this. Okay, fine. You can wear it inside. Three, always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. That is not the way he would wear that. He would definitely put the hat on on top of that. Sam is the best paying customer. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this? A rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you! And this time we're going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, Spanky my ingenuity. pawns, attack the dog! Don't attack me. How it is again? It's a stack of those eyeball videos. Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. You may as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thing and Madoodle won't work on me anymore. True. But I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut off. They do so. I forced them to. That doesn't mean they do. Become yourselves. Become yourselves. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. Attack the dog! <laughs> oh yeah, this is this fun bit. Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow! You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness! Attack the dog! <laughs> Become videotapes. <laughs> Blackwits, attack the dog. Ow. 
curious. You okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. <laughs> I can't tell them to become Max Elf, it's horrible. Become Brady Culture. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotape! What nonsense! Attack the dog! <laughs> you should surrender. Why are... <laughs> so, if we hit attack... The vid attack, attack the video anything, videos. it doesn't work out very well. Not for long. We just send them to attack Max. Max will just kill all three of them in a second. That's fine. Attack. Yourselves. Attack yourselves. Good job, guys. Attack the dog. Oh, right. Go and attack. Pretty culture. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog. Ow. Fine, you can play the other fun way. Worship. Worship the videotapes. Good job. Imbeciles. Attack the dog. Ow. Well, imbeciles is pretty good. Why don't you step forward? <laughs> so the poppers. Worship. Yourselves. Worship yourselves. Boneheads, attack the dog. <laughs> Alright, let's go and do the fight. So, worship Brady Culture. Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> but if I move closer, attack the dog. Ow. So, you do worship. Brady culture. Worship Brady culture. <laughs> and then we reek man. Worship me. Worship me. There you oh, go. me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Make them nice and healthy. Worship me some more. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. Everything is about me. Attack me. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. Oops, no, wait, I mean, me. Smart move, Ooh. Sam. Ooh. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. Yes. You made me mess up. I can see you. Time out for number one. And that, yep, like I said, this can be done in under two hours. So, this is, this was episode one of Santa Max Save the World. There are six episodes to this, and what I'm going to be doing, actually, for the rest of this week, moving Monday through Saturday, is I'm going to be streaming this game. So... Today was episode one. Tomorrow we'll be back with episode two. Three, four, five, six. It's Saturday, and yeah. Yeah, no, really common with Telltale games. Well, one of the reasons why I really wanted to do these in this way. I just know for like the later episodes, I'm going to give them much more time. 
I felt the last season I'm gonna give them much more time. That is a vomit please blob, and I will turn the favor of Karen Nelson, 1965 to 2006. So before I do stop, actually I want to look this up just really quickly. Hold on one second. Hmm. Okay. I can't really find anything regarding Karen Nelson, but she may have just been one of the people that worked on the game. Alright, so that was the entirety of episode one of Sam and Max Save the World, otherwise known as Culture Shark. Culture Shock. Yes, I'd like to quit. Thank you. Let's see, so that was episode one, which was Culture Shock. Episode two will be Situation Comedy. When we eventually get down to five, we're going to have an issue. Yes, two is tomorrow. 102 is tomorrow. 103 is going to be Wednesday. Um, because at the moment, we're not entirely sure whether or not Tacos will be able to stream anything on Wednesday. If she can't, I'm definitely taking over her time slot on Wednesday. That way she can kind of just kick back a little for a day. Thursday is 104, Friday is 105, and then 106 will be, well, or Friday will be, one, uh, Saturday will be 106. There we go. But yeah, I'm actually going to adjust these times, and because I have all of them set from 7 to 12, thinking they're going to be, or 7 to 11. Nope, 7 to 9 is fine. So, thank you everyone for showing. Thank you everyone who showed. I'm going to actually do a little bit of a raid really quickly here. Because I know at least one person who's available. Should be Chuck. Chuck lied to me. He's not playing. He's not playing Overwatch. I feel heavily lied to. Wait, he is streaming Overwatch. Why is that on my list? Oh, there he is. Um, let's see. We are going to get everyone sent. Yep, yep, over to Chuck. Why not? So give me a second here. I'm going to get everyone sent over. Or get everyone ready to get sent over. There we go. Yeah, no, no, that's no problem. Again, I just have fun playing the game. I'm really happy to just get this game shown off. And I can't wait to get to Season 3, because... Oh, that is just my favorite series. Oh, that's just my favorite part of it. But again, thank you everyone for, for coming. Thank you everyone for showing. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day, good rest of their night. 
um, stay healthy, stay happy, and remember, take care of you.